Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. So take off your pants, crack open a beer ski, and give in to the grind. Tonight, we are going to be playing some more World of Final Fantasy. At the end of last stream, I got uh, the ability to play as Snow in combat. And we evolved uh, quite a few people. We evolved Baby Behemoth to Behemoth. Um, and we evolved our Ku our fates. We evolved him from a Moogle to a um, Ku Pirate, and then of course we got the Lucky Toad, um, and we evolved our it's like a f f a Fire Mantis to a Mini Mantis, and Mike is now instead of a, a small. I'm not taking off my pants. What? How can you even enjoy yourself then with pants on? Come on. Let's get our shit together. Did I not, like, level up at the end of last stream? It looks like I didn't. Um, we'll wait. We, we can. We can. All right. So I don't even really know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I think I'm supposed to go north. Everybody says, go to the back or something. Let's just leave. There's usually a giant-ass star telling me where to go. How's it going tonight, Vector, you sexy son of a bitch? You guys were watching Kung Fu Hustle last night? How was that? Hold on, I gotta turn my TV up. You've seen it before, right? That wasn't your first time seeing it. I haven't seen that movie in a long time, but I remember loving it. That one and uh, Shaolin Soccer. I used to watch those all the time. But my favorite fight scene is... Um, where... Yeah. Yes, I did. Um, there wasn't much Final Fantasy VII stuff, actually. I thought there'd be more. Um, oh yeah, when I'm a Lilikin, for whatever reason, I like to jump. I don't know why. Because it looks like he's actually jumping high, whereas when I'm a big guy, it's like pretty pathetic. <laughs> but yeah, my favorite fight scene in Kung Fu Hustle is when they're like outside. I don't know if they're in like a park or what, but there's like the apartment complexes on either side. And that guy has that like, uh, I can't remember the name. It's like a, the Japanese or Asian style harp. And he's like shooting like the, the fucking, the, I don't know if it's sound waves or what, but they're just like slicing through shit. That's my favorite fight scene like in the whole movie. I Always love that part. Prepared. Always going prepared. All right. Did we buy high potions? Because I remember we were like out of high potions. Yeah, we did. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. That part was... Oh, man, I love that part. It's so cool. And then that's when, like, the old lady comes. Despite the harsh desert climate, mirages here are full of life. Uh, when did we step into a documentary? That's funny. He's talking like, uh... A docu what? He's talking like, uh, Steve Irwin. If you ever get lost in the desert, just follow the light. Think of it as Just follow the light and I'll be... Fucking Sean... Shawnee Polly, man. <laughs> just follow the light and I'll be... Oh. <laughs> any... Any Sean Paul... Any Sean Paul fans in the chat? <laughs> There's not a lot of rap. Or like, I don't know, what would that be? That'd be like more like R&B than, than hip hop, probably. Just give me the li Yeah, that's what he says, yeah, and start the show. There's not a lot of like R&B and like hip hop that I like, but there's some good shit out there. And Shawnee Polly, he's my boy! Look how much stronger she is. It's crazy! Yeah, Sean Paul, um, Ice Cube, can't go wrong with Ice Cube, he's awesome, man, he's got some good shit, um, Beastie Boys, of course, uh, who else do I listen to, uh, well, I mean, NWA, but, I mean, that's, that's just Ice Cube, <laughs> it's just more Ice Cube basically um 
Shit. Now I don't know where to go. I can't think of any other uh, hip hop groups that I like. God, sorry, I'm like worn out, man. This is after my first week of a new job. Oh shit, what? I'm just hanging out out here now? Didn't see that coming. All right, well let's fuck them up, man. Um, let's use 1,000 meters. All right, we leveled them up. What? Come on, what are the odds of that? All right, we've got, uh, I gotta try out a oh, snow special move too. We haven't, I haven't found out Snow's special move yet. Holy fuck, that is strong. Oh, shit, dude. Okay, let's see. I probably can't use it. Ah, uh, I bet it's Frost Strike. Alright, let's use, uh... Let's kill Bambino. Nice, dude. But yeah, okay, so this is my first week, the end of my first week. Um, I'm doing martial arts full time and working my new job. So I am fucking drained, man. And it all starts again tomorrow. <laughs> so, and I don't think, I don't think I've done, like, worked full-time while doing martial arts full-time while streaming before like this is my first time doing all that what now there's a star well I'll be dicked okay let's go this way I guess so like Monday nights Monday nights I I, I do karate um, Tuesday nights I stream um, Wednesday nights, I have, uh, Kendo. Thursday nights, I stream. Friday nights, depending on what I'm doing, I either stream or take a rest day. And then Saturday nights, I do, like, I do, like, I, I'm working out usually in the mornings now. Because my, my work doesn't start till 9 a.m., which is pretty sweet. Um, but on Saturdays, what I'm gonna be doing is doing like a hard workout on Saturday morning because I got like all morning basically and then and then do like a Mega Man stream and then Sundays I got Iido and Kendo so Sundays are probably my hard my hardest days so I'm I'm a little fucky right now dead bitch ah oh, come on oh right they're bombs they're not even on the ground so but yeah that's that's my life in a nutshell right now. Okay. Um. I mean, this is should kill him. Okay. It's on now. It's on like Donkey Kong. What? Resistant against ice. Nonsense, poopy pants. So yeah, that's why I sound like I'm fucking tired and shitty on my Sunday night streams. That's why. Okay. Um, we need we need to hit up a damn heels, baby. Oh yeah, brother. Oh yeah, fuck. And then uh so while I didn't have a job there, I got rid of my um Apple Music subscription. So, and then what it does is any music you fucking, any music you fucking had, like, downloaded, just gets removed off your iPhone. So now I have no music, man. So I couldn't even look at my phone and tell you what other, what other, like, rap and hip-hop, uh, like, dudes I was listening to, because I don't fucking have any of it. So I think I'm going to switch to Spotify, because at least if I don't pay my Spotify... I think you still save your playlists and shit. I would, I would hope. All right, but I don't know. I don't have, I don't have. I've never had Spotify, but I, I've never heard like bad things about it. But lately, I've been just listening to podcasts to, to 
fill that void. Because I'm like on the road a lot, so. I gotta do something. Or I'll fall asleep, man. I'm a sleepy ass driver. So I get like those. those nice counter, dude. I get those aloe drinks. So like, I got. I'm like drinking and then like chewing on the chunks of like aloe gel in there. And then I'm also, uh. Usually listening to music or something. Uh, we don't have Martin Luther King Jr. Day in Canada. It doesn't exist here because we didn't really have slavery. <laughs> I mean, there was still, uh, definitely separation. Um, and like racism and shit, but. Not, I don't think to the extent. With, especially with like. Like, like, African-Canadian people. Like, there's virtually... Actually, I read an article once. It was a guy... It was an American dude. Um, he grew up... Uh, somewhere in the States. And then when he went to high school... Um, his dad got a job in... I think it was Toronto or something? In Canada. And he's like just couldn't believe how like like racism against like black people doesn't exist here and he was very shocked now that's Toronto if you come like where I live where you'll maybe see like one like black person like, my city has a, a lot now, because we, we got a lot of uh, um, people coming from the United States moving to my city. Not a lot, but it, it's there's enough now. Um, but, uh, and same with, like, Saskatoon, which is the biggest city near me. There's a lot of people from, like, Cameroon, like, like straight from, like, Africa uh, living there and stuff. So you see a lot there, but... Like, growing up, we only had, um, one, like, African-Canadian family in our town. But I lived in a small town, so. And he was, uh, he was the dentist in town. I guess we're doing this. Come on, bring it. Are those skull eaters? Oh, they're not eaters. Alright, um... So I'm not saying racism never existed here, but now if you go to like an actual like urban center in Canada, um, yeah, there's really none. Again, not not like black people. Um, here, like in my city, um. Depending, like, if it's a more, like, conservative dude, he's probably gonna be more racist against, like, uh, like, native people, or, uh, and not necessarily, but the odds are he's gonna be more, more racist towards, like, native people or, uh, like, East, uh, Middle Eastern people than anything. <laughs> Pretty sure I am, uh not going anywhere right now right holy fuck dude yeah yeah I'm not going anywhere okay so let's go down and to the left I guess we got we got ourselves some lost woods bullshit right now that's what's happening ah I see that's where the light is the sun is over there What is that cat thing? Alright, wild horn, baby! What is that? Cockadrill. Oh, that's the... I actually lived, um... I lived in a city right next to where one of the, the like, underground r railroads were. Which is where, like, uh, like the Canadians and stuff would smuggle in, like, the slaves from uh, the United States. But we, I've never actually been there, unfortunately. 
And I was like, I was like, I don't know, half hour drive from there. And I've always wanted to go, but I've never been there. I think my wife's been there. I think they went for like a school trip. Because they would, uh, like way back when, uh, when like slavery was like a big deal in the United States, um, they would use it as like the Underground Railroad uh, to bring them into Canada. And then years after when um, Prohibition happened in the United States, that those same tunnels were used to uh, bring alcohol into the United States. And there was like, there was like black markets and stuff set up, and it's all like underground tunnels and stuff. Apparently it's cool as shit, but I've never been there. Like a nub. And I lived like 20 minutes away. But that's what happens when you're a moron. No, it's what happens when you have no fucking time, man. I was like working all the time. My wife was in school full time. Oh, so once you kill him, then you can catch these guys. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So his his uh that's cool. That'd be like if you're fight in Pokemon. If you if you were having like a trainer battle and you just knock the fuck like Knock the trainer the fuck out, then you so can bad. catch his Pokemon. <laughs> Dude, we are getting good EXP here. I think we should do some leveling up soon. But yeah, I'm assuming that's why we don't have Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Here. We learn about, like, we don't even really, like, we learn about him a little bit in school, but we mostly learn about, um, we need to cross the canyons before it gets dark. We, we learn more about, like, Rosa Parks and stuff. Um, but, yeah. She was like, um, oh, I bet that increases our encounter rate. Rosa Parks, I think she was like, um, I won't hold back. she right, took a, a seat on the bus that was supposed to be for like white people or something, and then they were like, you can't sit here, and she was like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> and she was like an activist and stuff. But she like stood up for, you know? She was like, how about no, asshole? And he was like, I'm not an asshole, this is how it is. And she was like, yeah, well, because that's how it is, you're an asshole. And then the, and then the world was like, oh yeah, I never thought of it like that. <laughs> it's like, hmm, she's, this lady's on to something. Ow. Segregation was very rough back in the day. Originally, African Americans had to sit in the back of the bus. If they could sit in the bus at all. Yeah, she sat. At, yeah, that's what it was. Rosa Parks sat at the front of the bus, I think, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, people were not happy about that. Man, I remember reading like they had to like they had like their own like separate drinking fountains depending on the color of your skin. Like, fuck off, man. Fucking, fucking boomers, right? <laughs> huh? The sky's gone all orangey. It's orangey? Like we're taking too long. Ah, who cares? We can take. We got all day. We got all day, baby. We better get the clear of here before the sun goes. Man, I want to get that treasure, but it looks like uh. I'd have to go in from the back to get it. Yeah, we learn more about like Rosa Parks than Martin Luther King Jr.
Yeah, we gotta level our dudes up here. Because we can. We definitely can. So why not? Oh, that was weak as fuck. I think here, like... I think, like, for the most part, at least in the part of the country I live, um, like, our, like, natives are treated how, like, I think, like, black people are treated in the United States. And I think it's more, it, it's kind of like a similar thing, a similar, like, reasoning and background, too, right? Like, um, because a lot of the, uh, the natives and stuff were like scooped up into and forced into like residential schools and stuff taken away from their parents um and treated like shit so that fucked up like generations of, of families and stuff um so then because of that a lot of they, they are bouncing back but they're coming from a huge disadvantage already so a lot of them are, they're, they're definitely trying to get ahead one generation at a time. Like any, like any, like, just like immigrant families and stuff, right? But, uh, the problem is, um, they grow up, they know they were fucking, their, their people were shit on by, like, us, right? So they've got that in the back of their mind and also they're trying to make it now but they're starting kind of with less so they're growing up in ghettos and stuff like that right so it's it's it makes everything harder so then you end up the the chances of getting involved in like drugs and alcohol and and gangs and shit is way higher when you're growing up in an area where that's, in some areas, that is necessary for survival. <laughs> Depending on how bad the area is you're growing up in, and that is at no fault of your own. And some people can somehow avoid all that shit, and grow up, move out, become successful, and have a successful upbringing of their family and put an end to the cycle, but it's a... Let's go. Fucking on, terrible right. cycle to break. And I think that's why um in Canada they're trying like when it, uh like people move in, especially if like uh refugees and stuff, they give them like a like a lot of startup money and get them a home and stuff. I think it's to prevent that cycle from starting. Like, I'm not a fucking expert on any of this. That's just my take on it. So if you can grow up... If you can put this family that just moved to the country in, like, a... Like, a middle-class apartment building instead of them having to start from scratch in the ghetto then you're not uh, exposing the, the kids growing up to that kind of life, right? And then the odds of them not getting involved in shit like, that's detrimental to their development is a lot lower. So it prevents the cycle from starting. It's my take. But what the fuck do I know? Nothing! Getting into the, getting into the fucking deep talks tonight, boys. Oh, we get to fight a giant cock. That's uh, great. Oh my gosh, how many of them are wriggling around down there? Oh, they're wriggling, all right. That's a one-eyed monster. Oh, it's a three-eyed monster. Yeah, those look like cocks. 
Like, if, if the Predator... If you could see the Predator's cock, that's exactly what the Predator's dick would look like. For sure. Don't tell me about your cock. Alright, we should have leveled up. Why didn't we level up? Uh, cause we're a bunch of nubs, that's why. Alright, um, yeah, Frost Strike. Nice, he's weak against it. Fuck yeah. Earthquake, please no. Alright, I got Finny, so, uh, we good. Ba bam bitch. Oh, dude, this is these guys are dropping pretty good, actually. Like, he should be dead now? Yes! Now we only have to worry about two. And we can charge our AP by just... Punching them, basically. Just clubbing them. We be clubbing. Um, Wobble Stopper. Have a Wobble Stopper, Snow. You're drunk. What if that's what it is? They're just fucking drunk. Just beat that shit out of them. Frost strike! Is he- oh, he's not even dead? Son of a bi- uh oh, this is new. Oh no. That cock almost swallowed Tifa whole. Charging up them fucking AP. Alright, uh, where are we at? Beat Rush! Yeah, boy. Um, shit. No, no, we gonna, we gonna finish him with style, motherfucker! Dead. That's how you beat your cock. Just like that, baby. Now those guys, those guys are sexual tyrannosaurus. Like literally. Like fucking literally. Are you trying to get killed? Uh-oh. Is that what's her name? Uh what the fuck? We got another dick man? Oh, it's lightning! Say what you will, lightning is my favorite character from the movie Cars. Like, that dude can drive, man. Happening. Come on. Oh, when the sun goes down, I bet this whole place turns into a fucking. Yeah. We got Litton boys. So, what have you been up to lately, Vector? Okay, let's level the fuck up now that we've leveled up like 80 times. 80 times? Well, there, there goes that. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's cool. Um, playing Legacy of the Duelist. Ha <laughs> ha! Damn straight, baby! Alright, please let me red dragon you. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh yeah, brother! We got us a red dragon! Oh yeah! I don't know what sync level does. It's like how good your sync is. 
Like, you could pour yogurt down the sink and it won't plug it. Like, real thick, viscous shit. Uh, what do we got? What do we have here? Yeah, let's go this way. We can get a fire crystal, potentially. Fire, sorry. Lucky Toad! I love this guy. I'll probably never use him, but I love him. Uh, that's probably a waste. But, to be honest, it is the only thing we'll use of his. So, yeah, let's do that. Alright. We got Finny. Old Finn bag. Uh, yeah, strength plus plus. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Look at this guy. Look at all the fucking sweet shit he's got. I kind of want to get that Mira Jewel, but he's not going to stay a fucking this thing. He's going to evolve more, so let's take a look what can carry over. That strength can, which is great. Victory charge. Oh, the blank space does carry over. That's pretty weird. I didn't think that would. Alright. We got Dookie, the Cactrot. The sexiest mf -er around. Unstacked evasion we need. So does his... So do all the blank spaces carry over? Because that's look like worth looking into. Grants access to an end. I gotta be level 20. Oh, I'm, I'm level 23 or higher. I'm like level fucking 30. Okay. What do we have here? Son of a bitch. Which story did you start, then, in Legacy of the Duelist? Oh, yeah, dude. Noif. I'll show you a Noif. That's not a Noif. This is a Noif. Um, Choco Chick, we don't want that. I guess Strength? It's almost time to put Chocobo in the fucking PC, I think. Uh, I started Duelist Kingdom, but then I realized that the decks I wanted to make would require cards from other areas, so you've been jumping around. Oh, okay. Which one's Duelist Kingdom? Is that the first one? Like, original? The original Yug? Old Yug. No! That's weird. You take less damage from crits. Didn't think that could be like a thing. Holy shit, really? Wow, dude. Oh, it's... Okay, it's Season of OG. Is that the one with... Uh, where Maximilian Pegasus is like the... The final boss of that segment? What do we have here? Yeah, I want to get that. And then equip it to uh, one of my, one of Lon's guys. Oh, sync bonus incre uh, increases stats. Cool. The Coupirate? Oh, okay. We must have done all, went all the way around then. Yeah, okay. I did, I actually did see that. That saga, if you will, of Yu-Gi-Oh. I think I stopped balls deep into Battle City. I just want, I just want to forget these ever sandworms existed. ever existed. They are talking. They just seem super quiet to me tonight. Is a thing of beauty tonight. I don't know why. Oh, it is. Look how beautiful. It's gorgeous! 
Now you need cards from Joey Reeler, Seto Kaiba, Alexis Rhodes, Kite Tenjo, Declan Akaba, and Zuzu Boyle. Oh, you looked up like all their stores and stuff. Would have so much trouble crossing a desert. Oh, so then you've heard of us. Why are you so happy about that? Trust me, we do not want fame. Probably Axel Brody. I don't remember, man. Yeah, you looked up the stores. I gotta look up my fucking PS4 game and look at my deck. Because there's definitely, my deck isn't the same as it was in the PS4. I think my deck's probably better now, though, to be honest. The keys from the prophecy? Interesting. That explains some things. Hmm? So you've heard of them? I don't suppose you can tell us more. There are four. Earth, fire, shadow, water, and shadow, if I remember correctly. That's weird. You wouldn't also happen to know where the keys are hidden. Is something wrong? Oh, sorry. I've never heard exactly where the keys might be hidden. But listen. Yeah, I think I did that on the on the PS4 version. I looked up the... Because I was looking up cards and where to get each one. Oh, nice. That one lies in the temple in the deep. Oh, so she knows where shit is. Lies in the land of noise. Oh, that sounds nice and specific. Yeah, right? Wait, is that from the Crimson Prophecy's missing verse? Yes. You know much, Traveler. Time out. She looks like Bomberman. Missing verse. They say that part of the original prophecy was omitted from subsequent copies. However, to be able to read that... Oh, I haven't read it myself. I heard it from someone who has. Really? In Bahamut's castle? You, uh, probably don't know that much. How would she know where that is? She will. I don't know. But oh. there are whispers. Whispers, you say? Interested, I am. They say the castle you seek, the domain of the heralds and their king, lies past the crystal tower, beyond the path of the gods. Heralds? So then, the king who found a Bahamut. Cool. So, all we have to do is get those four keys, and then haul Heine over to the Crystal Tower, am I right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. <sighs> all this reassuring info is making me sleepy. Don't yawn, Lon. You're making me yawn, too. Hmm, what do you say we just turn in here for the day? Yeah. Don't, like, wake up and everybody will be gone. Good That's my night. guess. Good night. Hmm. Why would you just fall asleep like that? You, like, just meet these people. You just fucking... <laughs> Yeah, they're totally... Oh, Lightning stayed with us. That's good. Uh-oh. The fuck? What? What is that noise? Now what? Son of a bitch. Dude, is that a castle? Oh, right. The chapter was called This Castle in the Sand. I wonder if that's Figaro Castle from, uh, like, Final Fantasy VI. Like, Edgar's... I think his name was Edgar. Edgar's Castle? That'd be pretty fucking cool. I think Lightning knows something. She looks... Looks like she knows something. We were careless. The drinks last night. We were drugged! They were... Dude. Oh no, we were at, we were drugged. No heroics, please. Dude, it is. That's Edgar. That's fucking cool, man. Ha <laughs> Oh shit, Edgar's working for them? Come on, Lightning, you killed all those giant cocks. Don't let me down now. Certainly no way for us to treat a lady. 
That's fucking Edgar. Sir. That's cool, man. The churl never gets the girl. <laughs> Rubbish. I totally called it though. The Federation. Who else could it be? Was, as soon as they said the chat, as soon as the chapter name was like the the I castle of the sand. Said the giants were mine to attend to. Attend to? I was like, that's gonna be that's Figaro Castle. Awfully churlish to me. What the fuck's churlish? Uh, no. See, you may be a giant, but my attention, I say for real grown-ups. That's it. Nobody talks to her like that. What's happening? Let's try to keep things civil if you don't mind. Please don't struggle. What? What is I don't get on? it though. That lady was helping us. I, I don't know. She was giving us like info we needed. Why'd they fucking drug us then? Lightning's champion medal has been unlocked. You can purchase it from the girl who forgot her name. Oh yeah, brother. Time to get our save on. Saving that shit. Chapter 14. Lost power. Oh yeah, I think Lost I looked it up. I think there's 22 chapters in the game. I think. So we're moving along. Pretty good pace. Where the fuck? Are you okay? I think so. Are you okay? Yeah. Except... What did they do? We probably, like, can't control... Also, like, what is this place? Um, mirages now for a little bit? That's what I would guess. If they fucked with our, like, gauntlet things. Alright. Okay. Real friendly these folks are. Excuse me. Do you know oh, that's one of those. Uh... Uh -huh. Oh, never mind. Giants, eh? <laughs> now, what did you do to get thrown into this? He looked like one of those uh... huh? <laughs> evangelical weirdos. Prison situated beneath Figaro <laughs> Castle. That was pronounced Fig Figaro. Well, what? They call it prison. But it's more like a death sentence. That can't be. There must be a way out of here. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? But you can forget about it. I bet he's gonna be a, a Final Fantasy guards, character. As much worse as on patrol. Who do you think he is? Machines that hunt down all who try to escape. Just surviving down here is a small miracle. Sentient machines? They're not mirages. How's a lowly prisoner like me to know? But I suppose that they must not be. When the King of Figaro stumbled upon this place some years ago, he decided to enlist help from folks at Shinra. Oh, what? Then all the machines that Shinra brought Shinra? In, they started attacking people. As if they had it's like a crossover between Final Fantasy VI and VII. Was abandoned, and now the worst of Figaro's criminals are sent here to rot. Yeah, same. Neither can I. If you two head now, then you better watch your back. One more thing. I've managed to stockpile some supplies. Best prices in prison. And like his eyes are fucking weird. Best prices in prison. Oblivion, berserk, blindness. We should probably get some of these. Just cause there's probably gonna be like monsters that require them. Uh, yes, we we do not want to be confused. Sleep is fine. You can just slap each other out of it. Sure. Oh wait. Yeah, whatever. We're good. Uh oh. What? No. That would be the castle submerging. Oh. Think of it. The castle did seem to appear out of nowhere. I hear the first time they poked around here, the castle plowed forward. What if it's so like Sabin? All the maps. You know? The story. 
Could be like Sabin. Yeah, we're definitely trapped in here. Because it didn't allow me to like... Usually if you have a save point, it'll allow you to access the... Yeah, we can't. We can't use mirages. Son of a bitch. So I don't know if it's better to be big or... Or, um... Oh, we can't use champions any or anything either. Okay. So it's probably better to be big. This looks like the D the D district prison from Final Fantasy VIII. Maybe not, but yeah, it, it pretty much does. Other than the center platform stuff. What did they do to us, man? What the honk is wrong with us? Tama, can you do anything about this? Where is Tama? Hey, Tama. She gone! Is Tama a girl? I think Tama's a girl. She's not answering? Yeah, it's a girl. <laughs> Tama! Tama! Where are you? Tama Tonga. Hey, dude. You don't think... Did we lose our powers? As keepers? Oh, come on. For the rest That's of the game? Crazy. Could you imagine if they did that? I don't see a gate, but we do have to get out of here. That's for sure. Oh. Yeah. Still, without Tama, we might just. Nah. What? We could beat We're shit up. Gonna... Oh, Magitek armor. Oh shit! It's time to row battle. Do this without any uh, we punch and know. slap our way out of it. Um, kill the searchers first. Ow. What? 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 Huh? We don't. That by that better have had to have happened, or I am fuck. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, dude, this totally looks like the D District prison from Final Fantasy VIII. This is it. Hey, it's Squall! You the giants from the hills? Sweet dude! Love me some squall. I'm okay too. Talk about close calls. A little too close. I'm Squall. First. What's this? A box? Sort of. It's an elf box. A kind of artifact. With some modern improvements. You might say it's kind of like those things that you keepers use to contain. The oh, box. okay. You mean prismariums? Uh huh. Yeah, Squall to the rescue, called? baby. Sure. You can just think of it like a prismarium. The only difference is that elm boxes are for capturing machines and not mirages. Oh! Give it a try. <laughs> That's cool. So now we got Magitek armor. Too cool. Fuck yeah! He's probably trying to escape. I'll tell you on the way, but we need to go. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> so those, uh, okay, a mechanized suit of armor crafted by fusing technology and magic into one totally cool chassis. An epic tale begins with three of these marching through the snow. That's Final Fantasy. A six, in case you don't know. Dude, this is fucking so cool. I wonder what Magitek armor evolves into. 
Looks good. Contained an Eld Box. Eld Boxes are special containers that you'll need if you want to capture mechanical mirages. Rumor has it that Chocolate uh, sometimes gets Eld Boxes in stock, so stop by her shop if you're looking to get your hands on more. Rumor also has it that Eld Boxes bring back a lot of personal memories for Enna Cross. Eld Box technology originated outside of Grimoire, but sometimes the borders between worlds get a little fuzzy, and that's a story for another time. Me? Oh, shadow. A mercenary group in the League of S. We fight against the Federation. Oh. I know who you are. Quistus built me in. Cool, man. Was... Oh, she gave us the fast craft. Oh. So she's in the League of S. The Lass and Glasses. <laughs> That's right. She's an officer, in fact. Wow. I didn't know she was a big shot. So why are you here helping us out? Hold on, I gotta let this play out, otherwise if I get into a battle, it'll start it over. Make up for the waterfall. Hmm? Sorry, but I don't think she ever mentioned a waterfall. It was Edgar, the guy who put you in here that asked me to help you out. Oh, dude, Edgar's a fucking double agent? Why? You've seen the anchor that's latched onto the desert castle. Edgar's kingdom? Yeah. In order to break loose of it, We'll need the Mako energy, which lies dormant beneath Dude, this is so such an awesome crossover. Sure Mako energy, is that strong? Yeah, trust me. And yeah, this is the D so District wait, prison music too, hey? This isn't a coincidence. Edgar sent you here as part of the... Ding, 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 ding. Whoa, 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 whoa. So then why didn't he just ask us? Figaro didn't join the Federation willingly. It's under constant watch. Also, Edgar knew the Federation doesn't do nice things. Yeah, this is a badass mix of the of the song, the man. Thorns in their side are kept somewhere between life and death. Life and death sounds like what that freak in the Golden Mask said back in Seronia. So, like, what's this job we're supposed to do? Our target, Mako Reactor Zero. It's swarming with all kinds of dangerous. Dude. Oh, well that. This is so bad. awesome. Right. We were hoping that you oh, this is going on forever, though. They should have just made this a cutscene. Except, it looks like oh, maybe there's no encounters, so maybe we should walk. Well, um, we don't really know. I mean, they've never been suppressed before. Um, so there we go. But they're useless now. Mm. Oh man. Dude, this is like the ultimate crossover. So you got Mako Reactors from Final Fantasy 7. You, you got fucking Figaro Castle from Final Fantasy 6 with Edgar. And then beneath Figaro Castle is the D District Prison from Final Fantasy 8. How fucking awesome is that? Watch out, there's a searcher on the prowl. If you aren't looking for a fight, you better hide until it's gone. Or if you want to imprison one, why not let it <clears throat> find you? Okay. Let's try. Work, please! Got him! Nice. There we go. So you can come off Tango. Oh! No. By the way, Vector, if there's a monster you want to be, just let me know. Oops. So does that mean we, like, broke the master plan? Um, why can't we go to the Mirage boards and level up, though? That's the only thing I'm confused about. Wait, what? Do, what is going on here? Oh, right, because these are large, right, so... I guess we could leave her, uh, large. And then... Make we have to do this without any keepers, him little, yes. right? Yep. But, the operation's in motion. 
Use the L boxes, and we'll just have to. Nine potions. You know, the League of S has an agent on site. I think she can remove the suppressors. Yeah? Who would that be? I wonder. I can't promise you. Now, enough talking. Uh, mirages that have learned the zap ability can electrify and energize objects. Use this ability on machines, special devices, and anywhere else you see an uh, electric thing. Surprised to hear there are machines in Grimoire. Perhaps they do feel a bit out of place, but only because most of them aren't from Grimoire at all. Oh, nice! The little sentry guy can do it. It's possible, but I can't... It's possible, but I can't... It's possible, but I can't <laughs> promise you. Now, enough talking. Let's press on. Dude, this is cool. Alright, where the hell? Where the fuck? Okay, let's go back this way. I don't mind fighting these guys. Ding, 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 dong, ding, ding, do. <laughs> the Magitek armor. That's so cool. Kill the searcher first. Just because it'll go down quicker. Alright, dude, that is so fucking strong. Oh my god. Okay. Um Uh high potion, I guess. Yeah. That's better. Tango, what are you doing, man? Okay. Dude, why can't I use, like, like ma my Magitek beam shit? It would be nice to be able to, like, level this guy up. And I'm sure I will be able to eventually, but god damn. Because he's leveled up like 10 times. But how do I actually like trade in his skill points? Oh my god. Okay. Should have bought more potions. Um, yeah, like, why won't it let me level them up? That's kind of annoying. Defend, escape, joyride. Defend, escape, zap. Okay, Tango. Fuck, man, you're being annoying. Sorry. All right. Let's see what's in these treasures. Give me the money. Give me the money. Nine potions, nice. Ding 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 ding. Final Fantasy VIII had such a fucking good soundtrack. Oh, nice. More treasure. Oh, nice, another L box. So we can get two Magitek armors. Get our stack on, on. On. Zap. By the way, folks, if you haven't yet, please give me a follow here on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Duke03. Click that heart. Show me some love, baby. Get one side closer to that Final Fantasy um, Mystic Quest goal. Um, you can also uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. YouTube.com oh, slash Duke03 to check out all my past streams, and of course my top 10 videos. So, uh, check that shit out. You can also like and follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash dookie03. Hey, to, to, to be notified of what and when I'll be streaming next. And of course the best place to stay in touch is the motherfucking Discord. So click those links, baby. Don't. All right, let's let's catch another one. Ah, oh, you piece.
piece of shit. Let's try again. Don't be a piece of shit. Thank you. Victory. Ow, don't fucking bite me. You're clawing me, man. Just sit down. He's such a grumpy cat, man. It's his birthday. It's Tango's birthday uh, next Saturday. Or this Saturday, I guess. A hovering eyeball that patrols its surroundings looking for suspicious activity has been issued a license to search, but not to, not to kill, but that doesn't stop it from trying. That's funny. Don't I already have a searcher? Like, why... Why is it, like, giving me all the... Oh, I guess I've never caught... A monster twice before so I'm just assuming it doesn't give you that info every time all right um so yeah let's get the old stack set up going there we go ah oh, why can't I level them up all right what are we at for health um, I need to, like, yeah, organize. There we go. Should have done that, like, fucking eight streams ago. I don't even think, I don't even think this is the eighth stream of this game. Dude, I gotta go back. I gotta go and upload a lot of my streams to YouTube. Oh, I'm so glad I walked this way. Because I am so far behind. I think the last stream I had on YouTube was... It was like... Uh, th like, the third Final Fantasy 13 2 stream. Alright, what do we got on this floor? So, we're gonna go this way, because there's probably treasure. Fuck man, this music is great! There's gotta be treasure over there, man. Uh, you know what? Let's just fight this guy. Bring it in, bitch! Aw, oh, man. Oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I am. As long as he doesn't use his fucking beams, then it's like, okay. Let's try and kill these guys. Then we got less dudes to deal with. And we're, we're like way quicker than the Magitek armor. So that's cool. So light them up, boys. Yeah, like no abilities whatsoever. Come on! Ah! No! Someone... So, oh! I thought she was dead for sure. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. Now if only we could level these guys up. It says they're level 15, but really they're pretty much level 1. I guess their stats would all increase. They just... They just wouldn't have, um... Any abilities or anything learned, learned or learnt? Fuck! Oh man, one of these paths definitely has treasure, and the other definitely doesn't has treasure. Oh, that one's just way shorter. I get it. Okay, that makes sense. We don't want the short path. We want the path with the most god dang treasure. And we want to hop while going there. Oh, I thought we were going to make it. So this area obviously has no random encounters. It's hey. all... It, these guys have totally to spot you. Down. Dead bitch. You guys give like... 
I guess it's not like amazing experience, but it's pretty good experience. Oh right, we can't even equip mirror jewels and shit. Cause I was like, why don't I just equip mirror jewels and then I can use like cure and stuff, but they got that all locked out too. They took our powers! They took our dogs! Wobble stoppers, we don't need those. Ooh, motherfucker. What do we got? An Eld box. Oh, what is this? Is that the exit? Perhaps? Yeah, yeah, that's where we would have came down. Okay. So yeah, this is probably the exit. Or something. It wouldn't have a green barrier if it didn't lead somewhere. Or I guess they've all had that, haven't they? Or not? No, some of them don't. Okay. Um... The end is nigh. I thought I said the end is night. <laughs> the end is night. Yeah, that's the shortcut. That's the way for sissies. Uh, turn or, turn around, bud. All right, fuck it. Squall, the clock's ticking as we take the long way just for treasure every time. Son of a bitch. Oh, right, we can catch guys. What? Oh, right, we just picked up an Eld box. So let's try and get this guy for uh, rain. The big, the big boy. Man, Alexis Rhodes. <laughs> that said his dick is garbage. I don't remember who that is, man. Which, uh, which Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, like, campaign is he from? Uh-oh. We don't know how to... We don't know how to imprison this guy. Wait, we there's Libra items. Are there not? No? Yes? No? I thought there was. Uh, apparently, no. The answer to that is no. Okay, let's try uh, healing him. There. Nope, that didn't do it. We could just beat him up. Nice crit. Dude, I want to catch him, but I, I don't know how. Um, yeah, we can't even try unless he has, like, a one. Uh, maybe, like, blind? He's got, like, a big-ass eye. Hmm. Thunder damage. That would make sense, right? Don't kill him. Don't kill him. God damn! Right. GX! Ah, Blue Dorm female. Okay. Well, we got some gains, but I wanted to get that guy for her. But that's okay. That's okay. We've got a long ways around, anyways. Ding ding. Fuck, I love this song, man. Give me some money. Oh, another L box. Sweet. Sweet. Is that slowing me down? I don't think it is. All that hopping. All right, I'll bring it in, bitch. This guy better have a Magitek armor. Yeah, boy. All right, I'm gonna try that uh, electric thing again. Damn. Damn. 
dead bitch. All right, it's gotta be. It's gotta be the electric thing. Lightning marble. Let's use the small one. Work, please. Ah, what the hell with this guy? How do I get you, Mang? Like, you wouldn't think fire damage. Whoops. I know there are some monsters where you have to like hit them with each element and then they'll <gasps> yes that's what his is awesome dude got him fuck yeah dude there we go I just wish we could fucking level them up man That's awesome. All right, um, stack them up. Yep. I mean, this guy, the Magitek armor makes the most sense for like a stackable monster, really. Because, you know, you actually ride those things in the game. Ooh, could there be sneakies? No. <laughs> Fucking music, man. Why you so good? Alright, let's save just because it's fucking been a while. We've been through some shit. Oh, right, because in GX, aren't they at like a, a dueling academy or something like that? So he like has like dorm, dorm room, like roommates and shit. Son of a bitch. Oh well, I'm sure we can come back here. Yeah, 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 I kind of remember now. What the fuck? Natural! My god, every one of you is natural! We're gonna fucking die. Ah, we got this. Have faith in us. Oh, it's called Death Machine. Yeah, we got this. Have faith in us, Captain Ron. Nice crit. Oh. At least it's slow as fuck. Oh, come on, man. We do, like, no damage. Please just let us not miss. Alright, we gotta get that. Get our... Get our heels on. Um. Okay. I'm so glad that we bought all those high pots last stream. Because could you imagine wasting all these turns trying to use regular potions to get caught up on our health? Nice! At least he can miss too. We totally got this. This is going to take a while. Yeah, dude. Oh, he's looking tired. Looking sleepy. Ow. Oh, did that miss? Get fucked, death machine. Who's the death machine now, baby? It's me. It's me. Yeah. Holy shit! Holy shit, nipples! Oh, we got some Arma Gems out of that. We got some good EXP.
Uh-oh. That looks pretty dangerous. What do you guys think? Why are there so many? Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, have I drawn enough thunder? This goal's so awesome, man. No. This is my job. Yeah, boy. Wait! Come on. Are you serious? We can't help him. We'd only get in the way. Let's just do what he says. I'm totally making lawn squall. Yeah! Ah, uh, what's cool? Sorry, I fucking forget half the shit I talk about, like, seconds after talking about it. Or just Squall being a badass in general. Chapter oh, that was like the shortest chapter the ever. Reactor and the Black Mages. Oh, what? They're pulling some final... Yeah, right? Yeah, I like that. Did I draw enough thunder? Who the fuck is this, though? Shelk? Who's that? I don't know who that is. Wait, something's not right. Is that an original character? Uh oh. What the fuck? Um, shit. I don't remember what I was saying. Hey, why is she attacking us? Who is this? Hey, die, lady. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ha! Holy! Ha! Oh, really? From 11? Should I assume I've won? Uh, yes. You are going to die. Uh... If I look dead to you, then guess again! Bring it in, bitch! Ow! Damn. Are you all right? Good. That's more like it. She's scaring me. Shelk is from Dirge of Oh right, right. There is no I remember now that I can't neutralize. I remember now. Hey! Wiki, 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 wiki. What? Huh? Tama! That's for me! Boy, am I ever so glad to see you! Dude! Finally! What a relief! So, black mages? So, does that mean, like, fucking. The, like, black waltzes from Final Fantasy IX? If your powers have recovered, we need to keep going. That's so weird. Why would they? That's such an off fucking shoot character to include in this game. Like they could have put anyone in the game. Yes, that's right. Whoa, that's so cool. And that's the one she used to remove your suppressors. Cause Shelk was the one that was like, she was super powerful, and they were just kind of like using her for her powers, but she wasn't really sure. I was completely in control. She's a champion. Oh, how can you not love her? Am I the right? You sure are. Thank you for the help. Yeah, you're the bestest. I, I don't have time. She was like working with the bad guys, but basically just because like. The one Let's big blue bastard was like the only guy that was like nice to her or something. So she wasn't really a bad guy, but she was just working with them. Alright. So we got our shit back. Um so Or not. Oh we don't have our okay. We don't have our uh Mirages back. But oh, so he evolves into the death machine. Cool! Zap, um, stroll. We don't really care. Or I guess you can find like treasure that way. Cure. Oh fuck yeah. Libra. Oh fuck yeah. 
Uh, first strike would be nice, yeah. Don't want that. So that's Magitek armor. That's something else. But what the hell would that... There's three? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder what else. Well, he's like maxed out already. And can't evolve until... Oh, he can evolve into Magitek. But we don't want Magitek armor because... Um... We want... We need a small and a, a large right now. Okay, here we go. Let's check out our Magitek armor. Fire beam. Fuck yeah, dude. Joyride. I don't remember how to joyride. That was one of the longest duels I've ever had. God, that deck sucked. Who are you fighting? That that same chick? From GX? Raises magical damage. Ice beam. Death Machine, Searcher, or who knows. I know that's like an Omega weapon. That'd be fucking cool. I'm pretty sure that's like too OP though. Holy shit, dude. Okay. Oh, Jaden. Oh, okay. Oh, Jaden versus Alexis. They said her deck was garbage. <laughs> Oh, as Alexis. Why don't you just use your own deck, man? Use your own... Or you don't have enough cards to really come up with something. Honestly, I just use the default... Uh, there's that default... Um, Pendulum deck is really good. For just wasting dudes in the story mode. To start off with. Pretty the story deck would have at least been effective, uh, but it was garbage. <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. All right. We're all leveled up. Um... Damn, we have to buy, oh, we have to buy those uh, champion jewels, though. Wasn't there a save point over here somewhere? And it will, I'm, I can guarantee it won't let us leave yet. But yeah, I totally, oh yeah, it's, it's Squall here. <laughs> They're just gone. Oh, hey. Can we get Oh, dude, okay. Sweet. We got our we got our team back. So that's good. Um We got Finny. We got Behemoth. We got uh me. We got, who else we got here? Kind of want the frog guy. This guy. Ah, uh, can't, ha can't not have him. And the frog guy, I guess. That's probably good enough. Change our stack setup. Get our actual party bag. And this, wait, this one. Dude, I just want to buy that fucking, I want to get that squall one, like real bad. Yeah, she's still way stronger than him. He 
He's just got more defense, basically, and agility. The stability is weak. Weird, I didn't know that was like a thing. Okay. Well, what does this do? It doesn't even say. Guarantee it inc increases our counter encounter rate, though. You got a card called Dreadnought Dreadnoid. Oh, that's that's like a weak attack. What's its effect, though? Oh, I guess, yeah, we should have snow here. When it destroys an opponent's monster at the end of the battle phase, it can destroy it. it can, I can overlay any level 10 Xyz. Which one? Is it that douchey one that I was fighting the other night? Level 10 machine Xyz. Hint, hint. I don't remember. Is it, is it that douchey one that I was using last night? Or fighting against? Was that last night? No, Friday night, sorry. Yes. What was its name? I don't even remember. Why do we have that, that thing as the walk around guy we don't even have him in our party basically oh i know why because oh no yeah i don't know why he's there searcher we really don't need two searchers either fuck we should have brought different guys in oh well uh, can we go this job won't take care of itself oh we're in the mako reactor Ah, Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon, Gustav Max. Oh, here we go. There's a gate. Sweet dude. This area is full of mirages. It's all up to you now. Good luck. Hey, we got this. We got this. This right here is our time to shine. Natural. My God, every one of you is natural. We're gonna fucking die. Alright, so first thing, let's, yeah, let's fix this prism case. Because we don't need two Magitek armor, and we don't need two... We don't need two Seekers. Or, or Searchers. So, who should we bring? Um, ah, dude, I can't believe we didn't bring Mike along. There we go. Fucking Mike? I guess you wouldn't know, uh, Vector. Mike has no internet. He hasn't had internet all week. And they're like, they're like, yeah, you probably won't have internet for another two weeks. Like his ISP. It's like, dude, what the fuck? What is he paying for then? Yeah, that's fucked, dude. There, I'd say that's a pretty good team. Uh, for now. Oh, I know why he's following. Because we have him on one of our stack setups. So, for big boy, we still want that guy. And then for a medium... Let's give her... Yeah, she's always stronger anyway, so let's give her that guy. And then for Lawn, still have Cactuar. And then we got Mike. Our boy. Yeah, his ISP is just like, yeah, uh, 
Well, you could just... Have you tried, uh, go fucking yourself? <laughs> it's like, what? It's bullshit, man. And Mike's like a tech guy, so he's trying to do everything he can on his end to get this shit going. But his ISP is just like, not giving a fuck. And the only other ISP in his area is like, not known for being great. Uh. What now? Which chap? Um, I R to squall now. Uh, thanks. Noise. And honestly, I probably won't use lightning. So. Wait for a metal though. Yeah, we could use her metal, I guess summon her but I don't want to be her what now? am I your final fantasy hey topping how's it going whose soul? whose soul will you touch uh I don't think we can go there yet what now? this goes from level one to level Who five thousand. How you doing tonight? Tapping. Alright. Um, yeah, let's buy some fucking potions. Alright, we go in here. No, the promenade. Talk to Chocolina. Alright. Do 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 do. Bop, do, 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 do. Don't really care about any of this other shit. I should probably get, um. Hey! That's handy as fuck. I can cast those pretty much soon, though, so. Not incredibly handy, but it's still something. Arrow seed, banish seed, Libra seed. Those are super expensive. What the fuck? I thought she sold those, uh, those things that let me catch robots. That lying son of a bitch. Squall said she would have them. I do the arena, but I don't know that you get anything. Oh yeah, you do get like random little things from doing the arena. I just don't remember how to get there. I think it's like over here or something. Oh no, what what is over here? Is this still like their bedroom? Yeah, it is, okay. I, I could probably just use that gate to go straight to the, to the thing, the thing place, the arena. Cause yeah, you get, you get like items based on who you beat and stuff like that. But honestly, I'm more interested in doing this Mako Reactor shit, so let's do that first. 8 out of 10, last dudes. Uh, last duels I've had using my custom deck. I've had Swords of Revealing Light in your opening hand, and you only have one. <laughs> that was like me with that Rage. That uh, Blue Eyes Rage or whatever. Um, I only had one for the longest time, and there was like three... Three or four battles in a row where I fucking pulled it like first first fucking draw, man. Alright. Huh? Why didn't it do anything? You gotta do them both at once. Oh, you have to do them in order. One, two, dur. Huh? Noise. Is Reactor Zero, is that the one in Midgar? Or which... Like, I'm not like a big Final Fantasy VII guy. So I don't really know all this shit. Or 
Or which one was Reactor Zero? Alright. Oh shit, I was gonna set Squall as my uh, character. Son of a bitch! Oh, he's resistant. Well, I guess his squalls will be electric. Which should be, uh... Um, super effective then, right? Against these Magitek scrubs. Those fucking hurt, man. Oh, not, not so much now that I got my... Now that I got my old party back. Now I can just one hit kill those guys. Holy fuck! Dead bitch! Oh, maybe not. Alright, now he's dead. Got him! Oh, look at them EXPs. Now we're tacking. So are you liking you liking that game then, Vector? I fucking knew you would, man. Uh, right, we gotta use Mira Jewels and get rid of Snows and swap in Squalls. Oh yeah, brother. There's not a Strength one, is there? No. Yu-Gi-Oh, what's not to like, right? Yu-Gi-Oh's had, like, they've, they've made some really good games. But I guess, I mean, when, when the creator of a card game also happens to be, like, a video game creator, kind of goes hand in hand there, right? How the fuck do I get to that area? Oh, from the, I see. I'd have to open these two gates somehow. Like, it's literally fucking Konami, right? So. Man, I want to use Squall's uh, special move. But I don't know, I wait till it's like a Magitek armor or something. Not something that I would one hit kill anyways. Dude, this is so awesome. Fuck, man. It's like, the mo this is one of those games where like the more you play it, the fucking more you like it. Don't get me wrong, Konami sucks and Yu-Gi-Oh has definitely gone off the rails for a long time. That is true, that is true. But I haven't forgotten how to enjoy it. Um, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh, that whole Lynx thing is really what put me off, but... Um, and Konami has been just making some very fucking bad decisions. Lately. God damn it, man. Ugh, I don't have a flying guy. You'd think that red dragon would know how to fly. A werebat? Alright, um, let's use this. Fuck! Why has I been missing so much? I even have accuracy plus item on. Some nonsense right there, boy. Get out of here, you fucking Zubat. Every goddamn RPG has to have a Zubat in it. Okay, let's take a look. Can this guy learn how to fucking fly? Please say yes. Smash. It's not looking like it. Nope. What we can do, since we're right by a gate, is find someone who can. Or we can just change fates into a Moogle quickly. Yeah, let's just turn him into a Moogle. And we can still... The thing is, we can still level up his Pirate form. Because we have it unlocked. And 
the nice thing is, is we just get his healing spells back. So it's not, it's not actually not a bad, not a bad idea. Um. I don't know if I'm digging this, uh. This remix of this song. There we go. So now we can fly. I wonder if we should go back. Because there was an earlier... Yeah, let's go back. We can't We can't just dodge treasure when we fucking have the ability to get it right now. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Dude, this is Final Fantasy VIII battle music. Alright, rough divide, baby! High critical chance. Alright, let's check this out. Yeah! Fuck yeah, dude! Try and tell me that Squall and Tifa don't make a damn good team. Oh, fuck. Dude, yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, why'd I use it on him? Fuck, I meant to use it on this guy. Whatever. Yeah, this one's good, hey? Most of them are good. Just the the uh, Mako reactor music, I'm not digging. That wasn't so bad. But that Final Fantasy VIII battle music, holy shit. Good stuff. Yeah, because there was a... I should probably go around, too. I bet there's a treasure back here. This game's good for putting treasure in, every, like, everywhere. Off every beaten path. I don't know why that Seeker is our fucking guide, though. I'd like it to be the Cactuar. Huh, might as well get the free heal while we're here. Restore all our shit. That little Moogle just carries us. Nice. Fates is like, I've got wings of steel. Like that would make it any better. Oh god, we're gonna get wrecked, aren't we? Oh shit, let's check that. Is that the Mist Dragon BT dub? Um, what am I doing? There we go. Seconds, 22nd second, 22nd of Lazalith, Mithril 11. One of the neighborhood kids teased us about our arms today. I'd forgotten how it felt. Most of them learned to back off once we started telling them where they could put their opinions. Turns out I still hate it. Who are they to call our arms weird? Our arms are mom's arms, and one day we'll be powerful mirage keepers just like her. Let's see what those losers say then. Yeah, that's totally Rain. Rain's jowernal. Oh, another occult fan issue. In this issue, we'll be documenting our strangest, but still very true, encounter in the Phantom Sands. Readers might recall our miserable meanderings through the desert from our last issue, having finally reached the oasis. We reveled in its beauty for a spell before making the decision to turn back before nightfall. It was during our return trip that it happened. My traveling companion Wedge lost his footing, and when I moved to, to catch him, we both stumbled to the bottom of the cliff, where a gaping hole swallowed us up like some terrible maw. I braced for the end, but when I came to my senses, I was lying on soft sand. The area around my feet was dark, with only a faint light spilling in from the hole we left far above us. Miraculously uninjured, I got wedged to his feet and we surveyed our surroundings ahead. Uh, ahead we spotted a single treasure chest. Now this was no time to be getting giddy over treasure, of course, but I realized the chest might contain some vital implement that could extricate us from our situation. I stepped towards it. Wait, Chief, 
You should think this through. I heard Wedge try to stop me. But what other leads did we have? All the same, I felt it too. Something felt off. I tried to shake my doubts as I reached towards the chest. Reporting by Biggs. I don't know if we can meet them in this game. Alright, let's see if we get absolutely f fucked up by this... What seems to be a mist dragon. Here we go! I'm not scared. You're scared. Oh, two. That's great. Hey, hey. Are we up to this? Yeah, it's totally the mist dragon. We're totally gonna die. Um, rough divide, baby. Oh, that did no. Oh, we're fucked. Uh. Shit. You know what? It's not even that powerful. It's just gonna take us several years to kill it. That's all. Hold on, let's just use protect. Fuck it. Take this. What is this, bitch head? Nice! I think we we might be able to actually beat these guys. Unless there's like some other move we don't know about. You just grind it out and beat his ass. Um, shit. I do want to use Libra because I do want to catch one of them. Um, but we should kill one first because taking the time to catch them will be much nicer um, if there's only one to deal with. Since Tifa is my stronger character... I'll do the healing from Squall. I am. As long as we don't run a run out of high pots, though, we'll be all right. Ooh! Once I get a chance, I should protect her. Use protect on her. Nice crit, dude. Yeah, we could totally beat these guys. I think. Um. Nice. Nice. Not nice. all. Oh, that sucked. Rough divide. Fuck. Evade and counter. Bullshit. That there's some real bullshit. Nice. We got a crit though. Oh, dude. She's taking no damage. That's awesome. Okay. I bought him in case they decide to use like a big attack. No! Okay, that's okay, that's okay. I thought it was healing like way more than the damage we had dealt, but it's okay. Dude, this sort of evade encounter thing is starting to piss me off though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, fuck off with the heals. Oh, dude, that is like a regen? Ooh. As long as we stop missing, it's gonna be okay. So weak. Fuck off, dude. Yeah, well, I don't think we can beat these guys now. I didn't realize they were gonna be like fucking regenning like that. So I think it's quicker for us to just die. Oh, we can escape! Okay, we're good. We're good. We waste a lot of fucking healing items, but we are okay. Like, why the fuck do we gotta fight two of them? Come in! Clutch. Clutch escapade. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, dude, we can go back and fight that behemoth now. Fight our first black hole monster. Man, there's so much shit we can do now. And then go through all the all the old stages. I could just look... What I could do is I could look up where all those black hole monsters are. And then go to those stages and, like, fight them.
because I'm high enough level now. I think he was like level 26, and our main party is like level 30. By the way, folks, if you haven't yet, please give me a follow here on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Dookie03. Click that heart. Show me some love, baby. Get me one step closer to that Final Fantasy Mystic Quest goal. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel to check out all my top tens and my uh, past streams. YouTube.com slash Dookie03. Like and follow me on Facebook to be notified of what and when I'd be streaming next. Facebook.com slash Dookie03. And of course, the best place to stay in touch is the Discord. So click those links, baby. All right. So there's a treasure there. I wonder if there's a treasure on the other side of that, the the actual reactor. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of like side questy bullshit right now. Like not even really side quest bullshit, but oh, there is. But they have chaos. This game does a good job with its treasure chests. I remember being very disappointed in like Final Fantasy VII and like a lot of Final Fantasy 13, 13 trilogies lack of treasure chests seven was bad like especially for the era like like final fantasy seven's era was like prime fucking final fantasy era um and and it just like shit the bed when it came to treasure chest placement i'm sa i said seven right not nine because i meant seven i said nine all right. Just the slowest fucking. <laughs> oh, he said seven. Okay. Lightning spell stones. I wonder if that's just like an even stronger fucking lightning item. Put me down. Beat Rush, baby! So yeah, if you get this game, anyone, um, you can't, I, I don't think you could turn into the characters in the original. I think that's only in the Maxima expansion. I think. This is my first time playing the game, and I'm playing the Maxima with the Maxima expansion on. So I think that's what it includes, is like, the ability to play as... Oh, nice, there's a fucking treasure over here too. Oh, it's a Mimic! It allows you to play as like Final Fantasy characters. Oh, we got am we got wambushed, boys. Oh, it's a new and improved mimic. The mimic jackpot. Well, let's use uh, let's use Libra on this song, bitch. All right, reduces HP. Okay, that's good. Ah, mimic jackpot. Okay. Uh, we should probably, you know, Mimics can pull some shit out, so we should probably actually use Rough Divide on it. Oh yeah, brother! Beat Rush. Can I get one more? Damn. Oh, I haven't even used Sling yet, I don't think. That is expensive as shit. Use this. Yeah, that was fucking good. This music is good, man. It's almost got like a southern tinge. They had like a southern tinge to the to the song. Ah, oh, what? Don't do it. Got him. Nice. Predictable. Predictable. Oh, we got an elixir and an hot and a high ether out of that. This mimic relative gleams and glitters in the light. Its pigtails are actually extendable drills. Um, considering its faux chest, 
faux chest of bits are made of solid gold. You could probably cash it in for more than whatever else you thought was inside. But mimics have feelings. They aren't yours to sell. Mimic Civil Liberties Union. <laughs> Give me an elixir. Oh, that's going to be a magic pot, I bet. Gill Finder. That's cool. He's got Death, Protect, Armor Piercer, Treasure Hunter. Awesome. He might be the guy I use as my, uh, my flea and my, uh, no escape character. I guess she is clearly a girl one. It's got a, it's got like a little beauty mark on it. Alright, let's chug some pots, baby. Chugging gigabytes. Alright, let's make some god dang progress. It's been a while since we've done that. Okay, do these have numbers on them? There's three. Uh, okay, well, I guess we, we can just figure it out ourselves. Okay, so it'll be one, two, then three. Okay. One... I mean, hey, you know what? I don't like puzzles. This is a good puzzle because it's simple for idiots like me. Dead. Nice. That wasn't so bad. Oh, yeah, man. Getting them gains all around. Zap. Yeah, I thought the Final Fantasy VII stream was going to be, like, earlier. Like, last stream, because that was, like, Nibelheim. But it's totally... This is the Final Fantasy VII stream. And six. And eight. Alright, what do we got? Oh, it's just a crosswalk. Can't get over there just yet. There's something strange about these mirages. Uh oh, there's a black hole I over think there. Some of them are unimprisonable, unless you use elf boxes like the one Squalba gave you. Huh? So say that again? You oh, mean it's guarded. Not mirages? Yeah. Maybe machines. With a maybe. No, oh, another mimic? Come in. Ranged. Ca I guess they have to have more than once one though, because if you fucked up trying to catch that last one. Nice. Got a crit. You gotta have a second chance, you know. Man, she's stronger than his crits. It's, like, she is so strong. But it's because she's got that behemoth. Uh, yeah, beat rush. Nice. Fuck yeah, dude. Dead. That was a good fight. That was some good chicken. Okay, it's forgotten. <sighs> well, at least we know how to imprison them. <laughs> For now. Alright. Is this. Nope. Do any of are any of them gonna have numbers? Oh, there's a path through there too. There's one. Okay, so we know we start with this guy. So that's good. I'd rather have a starting one than an end one. Nice. Dead. Nice. That counter helped a lot. Sorry, pal. You dead. Like, when we have, when we fight all those weak 
groups like that, we get so much experience points. But just because there's like a group of them, we get a fuckload of experience. Even though they're weak as shit. Alright, let's check what's over here before we... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's three. Fuck! We fucked it up! Alright, let's try uh, this one. It's probably gonna be the far one, though. You would think. Yeah. Oh, no. All right, well, that's easy. Puzzle solved. What do we got? Oh, a stack, nice. A stack of death. <laughs> Cat just, I don't know what the fuck she did. It's like, dove over something and wiped out. She seems so good. What is he, what was that? I didn't even pay attention to what he did there. Was he using bro? Look at those fucking experience points. Holy shit, dude. Glorious. All right. Da, 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 da. Right? Yeah. What? No! Oh, right. There's one up top. Fuck. All right. So one. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Got it. Got it. Man, Tremor is my only, like, like, good damage, multi- Oh, dude, that heavy counter is great. Oh, refueling, it says. I'm assuming that's, like, bro. Fuck me. So much experience here. And, like, I'm over- I'm OP, too. Like, I'm- I'm wasting dudes. And getting that much fucking experience points. It's crazy. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Wait a god dang minute. Maybe there isn't one up here. Yeah, I like this Final Fantasy VIII uh, battle. Battle music. Super good. See, another reason why I think I'm going to switch to Spotify is Spotify has a lot more, like, of these, like, game soundtracks and stuff. Whereas Apple Music, it was really, it was really hard to uh, get that music. Um, I'm trying to solve a puzzle like a big dum dum and fucking up all day long. Fucking up so fucking strong. Take that chance all day long. Fucking up so fucking strong. Take that chance all day long. Fucking up so fucking strong. Something like that. <laughs> okay, I think I know what I'm doing wrong. If there's no reactor up here, that means I gotta do that sec- that far one. Second. No! I am. Alright, dead please. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, these guys are gonna fuck me up. They're so fast, too, man. That was weak as shit. And it hurt him? What? Weird. Yeah, I was just talking about how, like, I seem to be OP as fuck here, but I'm getting so much experience points despite that. 
So I'm liking this area. I don't mind uh, fucking this puzzle up a couple times now. Alright, well we gotta fuck up the puzzle anyways, because we gotta start it over. Zap. Oh, what? I did the exact same thing last time and it fucked up. Whatever. I'll take it. Ah. Dude, yeah, I literally did that exact same thing last time and it, like, fucked the puzzle up. Weird. I mean, who cares? We got it now, right? I should probably, like, heal one of these times. Because they're just doing tiny amounts of damage, but it adds up over time. Fuck, that heavy counter is amazing. Just one-hit kills, guys, without wasting a turn. Look at this shit, man. All my high-level guys are, like, getting a quarter of an EXP bar filled each battle. And we're just cruising through the fights, too. Alright, let's see if we can level some Mafkas up. Strength plus. Let's go HP plus. She's got a lot of fucking strength. Triumphant shout. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah, let's go for that. Snowman rando. Ooh, there's another... There's an extra guy he can evolve into. Magitek armor. Death machine. Oh, this guy like didn't level up at all. There we go. Getting that HP plus plus. We got our mimic. No escape, strength plus plus, counter, like he's got some pretty fucking good abilities. Armor piercer, death, um, resist defense down, treasure hunter, that's what we wanted, and no escape, did I get no escape? I thought she has no escape, maybe not. Oh, that was the first one. Okay, yeah, Treasure Hunter is the other one we want. Holy fuck. Dude gets some good moves. Yeah, we might as well chuck this searcher in the garbage. Oh, okay, there's two different ways he can go. So, let no, we'll keep him. Keep until he's level 40, whatever. Let's see. See what Finny can learn. Upon winning a battle, restores a little HP to all allies. That'll be handy as fuck. What level can he learn? Dude, he could turn into an Iron Giant now. Everything costs so much now, dude. Alright, what do we get? For the the best guy. Alright, 23 or higher? Let's do it, baby. What do we got? Oh, a Gigantrot. Damn. I want to get a fucking this one. Oh, oh shit, okay. Cactuar, okay. So, where the hell... Why... Oh, I probably have to evolve into it. Gigantrot's cool, but it's gonna be, like, large, I think. Won't it? I guess we could still view abilities. They might carry over. Thousands of meetles. <laughs> 
But he's large. That's the only thing. Oh, but then when I go to a Cactuar, it's going to zero out everything, won't it? Because it's like a different family than Cactrots. Oh, so it seems. I forgot about Behemoth. Yeah, that's what we're going towards, is that strength plus. Alright, we're good for now. I do want to evolve um, my Cactrot, though. But we'll do that later. I'm pretty sure he'll evolve like to a Cactuar. Oh, this is a save point. Son of a bitch. Come on. Uh, might as well. Fuck it. Dead. And that is how you dead a bitch. Is there three of them? Damn. Alright. Let's use, uh, 1,000 needles. Fuck. Fuck. Ice. Tifa, why are you so much better? I don't want to use any healing items because there's literally a save point right there. Which will fully heal us. Right fucking there. There we go. Alright, I think I've got to call it a stream here anyways. Um, hold on, let's check out, uh, see if we can evolve him. Uh, whoops, sorry. Cactuar, yeah. Whoops, shit, god damn it. His agility goes up. That's it. His his stats stay the same. Okay. So let's go Mirage Board. Let's take a look. So yeah, his abilities change. Everything changes. So that kind of sucks, but... So we're basically like starting from, from scratch with him. Oh, what? Dude! Why does he have 40 SP? Because it's a new family, maybe? Dude, suck me sideways. Alright. This is 8. Oh, dude. Brother me gently. Where is his? There it is. I want to get that, like, fucking now. There we go. Thousand needles. Oh, man. So, I didn't know that. If you switch families, you just get all the fucking things. All the goddamn things. You have them. So, now... We can go to what's probably going to be like Gigantor. Dude. And then, learn shit from him. I don't know what carries over. Oh, Photosynthesis carries over. Fuck yeah, man. I'm not going to use Gigantor because I'm pretty sure he's a large. But I can still learn abilities that carry over. While So even though I keep him as a Cactuar, he still gets these abilities. Hey, Imperial Sun. Thanks for the raid, dude. 
Appreciate the hell out of it. Were you playing some uh, Dark Souls tonight? I saw you were playing that like the other day. I don't know if that's what you're still playing. Fuck, I gotta figure out what I have for those blank spaces. Before I, like, commit to doing that. Fuck yeah, man. We got ourselves a cactuar. Uh, let's take a look at other people's boards. Like, there's gotta be some scrub that I actually, like, unlocked that for them. Because I usually don't, because I don't use them. But like this guy. Yeah, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got for abilities. Blizzard, Thunder, Cure, Agility Plus. Yeah, that's what we that's what we need on our Cactuar. Agility Plus. More like Dank Souls, and it may have broke mine. Damn. Broke your soul? <laughs> yeah, I can't play those games. I played Demon Souls when it came out. Um, I never beat it, but I, like, enjoyed it, kind of. Alright, well, since I got raided, we will, uh, we'll, we'll make a little bit more progress. I was gonna call it a stream, but... Stick around, kids! You learn something! You learn how fucking shitty I am at puzzles. Oh, no! Oh, God. Good thing I saved. Did I save after doing all that shit? Oh, shit. Don't be a mimic. Don't be a mimic. Thank you. Let's get the out of here. Let's get the not a mimic, please. Thank you. This is totally ripped right out of Final Fantasy VII, by the way. Yeah, welcome. Keep going. Trust me. The this people of the Imperial Sun. Okay. Roger that. Hey, Oigel. How you doing? doing this again. So yeah, that answered my question as to which which uh, reactor this this was. This is totally got to be the reactor from Final Fantasy VII. It's got the countdown timer and all that shit. Or from Fun obviously it's the reactor from Final Fantasy VII. This is the reactor from like Midgar. The start of Final Fantasy VII is what I was trying to say. All right, um, let's try 1,000 needles. Oh, it's a single enemy attack. What do we got here? Holy, dude, that is so much better than Cactrot. I'm so glad I evolved. I evolved them. So do we still have? We can't fuck around too much here. Okay, we still have Tremor. Oh, that won't work on the bats, though. Fuck. Alright, let's just go. Let's just go! I'm fucking around here. We got, we've got, like, a death countdown. I'm like, let's see what these fancy new moves do. That sounds like a good idea. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. I hope this is the way out. Uh -uh. We gotta get down there. Oh, both those doors are locked now. Are these elevators? Oh, we can go this way now. Cool. Okay, sorry. I will, I will read the chat, but right now, I am afeard. Okay. Uh, what the fuck is this weird looking game? Uh, World of- So, World of Final Fantasy is like an amount- It combines all the different Final Fantasy worlds into one. And it's kind of like a Pokemon game. Um, it plays more like- Like a Digimon though, or like Dragon Quest Monster style. Because you can evolve multiple different ways. And then de-evolve and stuff like that. And this is my first- playthrough of the game, um, but I got the, uh, the Maxima DLC, it's like an expansion, which lets you play as the characters from the Final Fantasy games, as you unlock them in the, in the story. So right now I got Squall and Tifa, and 
basically all the the people from the world different Final Fantasy worlds. Uh, they're called Lilikins, which is why they have like big ass heads. Um, kind of a throwback to like Final Fantasy one and one to six, where like the sprites they all had big heads compared to their bodies. Um, but the two characters we play as, they call them the Giants from the Hills because they're from like Beverly Hills basically. Um, but they're giants. They call them giants because they're like regular people. Um, but I'm playing as their Lilikin mo versions. Um, this is what they look like normally. But I'm playing as their Lilikin versions because what you do with your party is you stack them based on their sizes. Um, you get different, you can use different monsters. And since I evolved my baby behemoth to a behemoth, he's now a large. So I need Tifa to be a medium size, which is Lilikin. And then Lon is Squall right now. And Finny is my uh, Mithril Golem, um, so he's, yeah, but then if I want them to be their big size, I can stack a medium and a small on them. So that's an that's a, if an Ifrit in teenager form. I, he was a baby when I got him. He's kind of like your starter Pokemon. So at like the start, at the start you get this these two weird guys that I don't like. But then you have an encounter with Ramu, Shiva, and Ifrit, and you pick which one you want to battle. Whichever one you battle, battle, um, you get like their baby form, basically. And that's what that guy is. And then I got a Tom, a Snow Tomberry, and a Cactuar. The Cactuar was incredibly hard to get. Um, I spent a good chunk of a stream grinding to get the Cactuar, and then once I finally like maxed out my cactrot i can evolve him to a cactuar so that's what happened there um i can kind of show you so this is my moogle he evolves into a Pirate, <laughs> which is fucking hilarious um but let's show you so this is um that's the baby behemoth and he evolves into a behemoth and then for like um, this, uh, Finney's Mithril Golem. Yeah, this game's great. And it was on sale for, like, dirt cheap, too. Uh, he starts off as, like, a shitty, like, Copper Golem guy. And then he can evolve into a Mithril Golem. And then I believe this is an Iron Giant that he'll evolve into. Iron Giant's, like, a great Final Fantasy monster. Um, oh, yeah, you also get, I just got, um, uh, Magitek armor. Because right now we are in a reactor inside the District D prison from Final Fantasy VIII beneath Figaro Castle from Final Fantasy VI. And, oh yeah, I was gonna, I was just gonna show you the uh, the baby Ifrit. It's called a uh, Frit. And then there's Afrit. And then I'm assuming there's another form, and then probably Ifrit or Ifrit or whatever you wanna call him. And then there's a baby, there's a baby Tomberry. Look at that little cute son of a bitch. And then of course I had to level up the uh, Mandragora because he evolves into a Malboro. Gotta have a Malboro in the party. All right, moving on. I hope I saved there. Oh, dude, the Black Mages. There's, like, this part of the game that I just got to, there's so much Final Fantasy, like, crossover, interwovenness shit happening right now. What the honk? Oh, yeah, Lon's dumb as shit, by the way. But these are, like, I think this is, like, Final Fantasy IX. Uh, is that Vivi? Oh, my God, dude, is that Vivi? This is basically the whole game. You're just like, oh my god, is that fucking so-and-so? Hate Malb so much. So much hate for them ever since 7 and 10. Dude. Nah, they're not mirages. Nah, they're not. That's Vivi! <gasps> what? Vivi's a mirage? That's fucking weird. That's super weird. Um, okay. 
Oh yeah, so then in the in this version, because you can play as the the characters, you get like their limit breaks. So like I can use Squall's Rough Divide because I'm playing as Squall. And it, they're usually pretty goddamn strong. And then like Okay, let's finish this guy off. The less guys we gotta fight right now, the better. Um, and then, like, for Tifa, you can use Beat Rush. Which is one of her limit breaks. I like how it's, like, 12-year-old Tifa, too. Like, with the, with the stupid cowboy hat and shit. God damn it, dude. I'm gonna die. Oh, fuck me. You hate Malbor Malboros until they're on your t in your party. You don't hate them so much. Also, there's like a fast forward feature, which is amazing. Um, in the original, like if you don't get the Maxima version, you can summon these, use these characters as summons called champions. But I like never do that because apparently you can only do that when you're when you have either one uh, Lilikin and one giant or two giants, I think. All right, let's use a thousand needles. That was a thousand damage no matter what. Pretty good, considering the AP it costs. These guys have a lot of fucking hit points. Oh man, okay. Let's use another high pod. Dude, I want to catch Vivi so bad. Why is he a Mirage though? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. He should be like a character. Uh oh, and yeah, if you if you if your stack gets knocked over, then uh, you have all your individual monsters hit points, which is really low. So you don't want your stack to get knocked over. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's use. Do I have Libra? No, I don't. Do I have an item for Libra? I, th I always think I do, but it, it looks like I never. Never fucking do. Uh, Alright, well, let's just attack him. And use Libra. Alright, what do we got? Once per battle, reduce the Mirage's HP to create. Okay, so just beat him up. I can do that. Damn, she can't use Beat Rush yet. One more turn. Oh, nice crit. As I keep getting that one ability for my Cactuar, it lowers the amount of AP it needs to use that 1,000 Needles. So I could probably get it down to 1 AP, which is insane. Nice. All right. Let's catch him. What happened? Oh, it's part of the story. What? Hey, who made all this small? Oh, they nailed it with his voice acting. Dude. Dude, that's perfect for Vivi's voice. That is odd. <laughs> you just noticed? Did Vivi have a voice actor in Kingdom Hearts? He was in Kingdom Hearts 1 or 2, wasn't he? But I can't remember if he had a, if he talked. Yeah, dude, he sounds like one of the Rugrats, like the the one the twins. He didn't even realize they were there? Hey, you guys know better than to act mean. See? 
Not this one? Oh, okay. Yeah, totally like fill yes, fill and Lil. Okay. So what can me and my friends do for you? Oh, I think. Actually, I haven't watched Rug Rugrats in like fucking twenty years. So I don't know. But definitely one of the characters. They're gonna destroy the reactor? So that's, um, we're inside a Mako reactor. Oh, something's happening. Does this mean the reactor's working? Figaro Castle can break the free now. Oh, hey, we don't want to miss this. Right, we're trying to restart the reactor so that it breaks the chains off the castle. So that Edgar can get free from the Federation. So yeah, this is Figaro Castle from uh, Final Fantasy VI. It's time. Now, full speed ahead. He was a double agent, working with the Federation to kind of bring it, bring it down from within. This game's fucking awesome, man. Are those the drills from the prison, from Final Fantasy VIII? Because the prison was below it. Those are totally the drills from the prison. He just turned the castle into a tank! Fuck, this is awesome! <laughs> now he can break the chains. Cause that's how that that's how that would work. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, the baby. Yeah, um that that uh Tama has like a speech impediment. <laughs> she says the when she's not supposed to a lot. Like, she'd be like, we the did it! Hmm. An idea all that to work. Yeah, no kidding. By the way, couldn't this be that cradle of Mako's light that has the key of Earth? Oh, yeah! Oh, Vivi's got the key! Dude, it's the second key! Ask it, shall receive. It appears that Vivi had it all along. Shelk is the weird. I don't know why that Shelk is in this game. <laughs> It bothers me that they pronounce it Figaro and not Figaro. Didn't Squall relay my intentions? Yes. Listen, I. Yeah, Edgar threw us is who threw us in jail. What about Lightning? Is she okay? Oh, yes. I made certain she escaped. After all, she wouldn't have been out there protecting me had I asked. Huh? Seriously? Oh, so Lightning was in on it too? Oh, then technically you did help us before you unhelped us. Yeah, I guess we're even now. Guess so. Uh oh. What the fuck is that? Uh, who was that? Where did it come from? Has it always been there? Lurking beneath Figaro? Incredible. That mirage that possessed power beyond the belief. So Tom is the first mirage you get. But. I don't really like Tama, so I just chucked her in the in the fucking PC basically. <laughs> I wonder if Sabin's in this game. After or Sabin or whatever. This hardly suffices. But I have some information. Huh? One of the keys is in the land of naught but night, correct? 
I wonder if that'd be Tr Trino or Trano from Final Fantasy IX. Big Bridge, baby! Once I get to Big Bridge, I can get Gilgamesh. Also, all the remixes of the music is are fucking, like, amazing. Shulk's champion medal has been unlocked. Nobody gives a fuck about Shulk. Alright, this is a perfect place to call it a stream. Thanks, guys, for coming out. Um, if you haven't yet, please give me a follow here on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash 3 Click that heart. Show me some love, baby. Get me outside closer to that Final Fantasy Mystic Quest goal. We are so fucking close. We have we need like six more follows, and then we'll be playing Mystic Quest for the first time ever after Final Fantasy uh, uh, World of Final Fantasy Maxima. You can also uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out all my t uh, past streams, and of course my top ten videos, like my top ten. Hey, Bacon Grave, thanks for the follow. My top ten games of the decade, top ten um, Super NES games, top ten Genesis games. Top 10 unlockables in video games. And the one that's going to be coming out next month. I don't know if it'll be the beginning or the middle. I'm working on it right now. Top 10 times I got stuck in video games. So there's some there's some good stuff going to be in that one as well. What did I call him? Bacon Rave? <laughs> Welcome, Bacon Grave. You sexy son of a bitch. Um... <laughs> But yeah, if you if you if you're interested in those, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I think I just hit 50 subs, baby. Like and follow me on Facebook to be notified of what and when I'll be streaming next. And of course, the best place to stay in touch is the motherfucking Discord. Oh, it's Baron. Ha! <laughs> Baron Grave. Wow. <laughs> God, son of a bitch. Take that chance all day long, fucking up so fucking strong. Take that chance all day long, fucking up so fucking strong. Fucking up so fucking strong. All right, thanks a lot. Sorry for fucking up your name, Baron. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow, and I hope to see you find fucks on Tuesday night where I continue this sexy game. This game is getting better every every fucking time I play it. It gets better. I love it more every time. So, yeah. Uh, see you guys Tuesday night, and if not, Thursday night. And then, yeah, I'll be doing I'll be doing Mega Man Battle Network games on Saturdays. Alright, have a good uh, start of your week, guys. See you Tuesday.